Good morning YouTubers. Standing here in front of my CNC machine that I built quite a few years back and I've got a few problems with it that I've been putting up with and I finally decided that I'm going to try to correct them. I've got unsupported bearings or unsupported rails rather on the Y gantry and the X gantry and you can see them just at the bottom there and up at the top uh, bearings or skate bearings that I fabricated forged bearing holders for back when I originally did this and I'm going to try to change it now before I do that I've laid one of the bearings up on top of the table and got a little sag in the middle of the table which I was unaware I had but I should be able to plane that out or fly cut the table once I get the bearings changed and the supported bearings in place but I'm gonna move the camera and see if I can set up on that dial caliper run it from end to end and see how much it's out right now okay we're gonna try to run this down I think I've got it semi straight sitting on zero right now that's about fifty thousandths Back to zero. About fifty thousand the other way. Run that one more time. I'm going to set it to zero right there. There's fifty thousandths. That's a hundred. Looks like I'm going off the top center of my slide or my rail there just a little bit. I may have a bow in my system front to back as well it looks like these unsupported rails I believe have bent a little over the years been more than a few times that I've uh, driven it into the table without expecting to do that I'm roughly 150 thousandths out you can see the rails bow if you look closely and compare it to the support that I have across the top of the gantry you can almost see the bottom of that bowing I want to swing you around here a little bit and kind of some idea of how much deflection I get when I run up into a problem I think you can probably see that moving which is the bottom rail pushing away so hopefully I'll be able to get rid of all of that with the supported rails my Y rails aren't quite as bad a problem as the X my Y run across the bottom they're a bit shorter about 32 inches my X rails a uh, little bit more than 48 although the new rail that I have is a bit shorter than that so I'm going to shorten my system a little bit 
I found that I really could have built a much smaller machine for what I do with it. Uh, probably would have caused a whole lot less headaches when it was all said and done. Well, I've got the table pulled off. See why it bowed in the middle? It didn't have any support underneath. 
hide a lot of dust down here. And I'm really debating on shortening this whole system up and making it smaller than I originally planned. So, I may have to put my thinking cap on on this one for a little while and I may have a much smaller CNC when I'm done. We'll see.